Sorry, go ahead. No, no worries. That was just going to be silly. Go ahead. Uh, you you can go first since uh, I've been here for a while. Oh, no, it was <laughs> just the joke about how Arton's trying to fix the adventures when the training objects are, are still in disrepair. Yeah, and Warren was helpfully flexing behind him as he worked. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they're just That's kind all. of all, like, chilling there, not really doing much, talking amongst themselves. See, he's just like, you flexing. come out here. <laughs> he's just flexing behind him. There is, like, the woman that was throwing needles at things, like, gives you a little bit of applause as you flex. Nice. <laughs> Alright, well, while they're in the bookstore, I'm gonna be in here talking to, uh, the flex. Yo, Cup, and what's left of your food is still there. He's sitting there, cup in hand. Looks over at you as you approach. Hey. Uh, greetings, Neflex. Or should I say, Sir Neflex? I uh, prefer you not to. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you knew, uh, do you actually know the location of this tomb, by chance? I don't, I see you didn't mention it. But if I'd I go to the saying, source before I went. Part of the job is finding it, because it's not really on any known map. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Kind of like a. What is this guy doing? Is, is he just chilling? Is he. Um, I assume he's not. As you look at him, he is a very heavily robed person. You can see just two small lights coming from underneath his hat that you're not sure if it's a reflection of his eyes or something else in nature. It is slightly disturbing as they turn their gaze upon you, and there's a very slight chuckle as you look at him. Can I give him a wave? Hey. He waves back. Alright. So, so Jarnan, did you get our friend here and I uh, clap... Uh... Flex on the shoulder. Did you get our friend here to pay for the damages his little adventure causes your bar? Yep, he points down at the bar and, like, everything is crossed off of it. <laughs> at least you're a generous man, Netflix. Pay for what, uh, what trouble you brew. It's, it's better than having to not come back to this town, you know? I'm gonna be here for a few weeks so I'll y'all finish up the job. Yep. Perfectly understand you. You gotta make the locals happy if you want to stay anywhere. He right. nods. It's life of a traveler. I look at this guy that just came in. Like, uh, he's a tiefling with purple skin. He just kind of comes and sits at the table, not really going to order anything. He just kind of seems like he just woke up and put his head on the table. Okay. I go up to him. Hello, friend. He looks at you. Oh, God, your voice is like a dozen cans banging together. I'm just, uh, I'm wondering, are you, are you here for the flyer also? Oh, God, no. Oh, okay, good. I was about to tell you that you completely missed it. Oh, um, he points over at Nefex. Um... He hired me to carry his stuff around. Ah. I'm My name's Drew. He puts his hand out. A tone, he said? Yes. I say, My name's Raviv, and I shake his hand. Got a little too much uh, drinking you last night, I see. Oh, yeah. Just, uh. He. There's like a little bit of a groan. As he's talking, you can just, like, smell the waves of booze coming off of him. Oh, uh, just don't don't try Dragon's Breath. Oh, I won't. I won't. I learned that lesson a long time ago. So, uh, your employer, you know any reason why he wants this jewel? Oh, I know he was looking for it whenever we ended up together. It's, uh, not too sure what it does. Just, um, seems pretty important. It's a big gem. I mean, I kind of would want a big gem if I had money. Yeah, there's easier places to get big gems than in the Acheron Desert. Or to a jeweler, perhaps. 
I honestly don't know too much about the job. I've just kind of been traveling with him for the past, uh, so it's counting on his hands. Nine or ten days? Where is it you guys came from? Oh, he came through Coraland and, well, I was just kind of slumming it out there anyways. Didn't really have much else to do. Hmm, all right. Is this the only thing he's finding, or has he been looking for a lot of stuff? Do you know? This is the only thing he's really talked about. Um, I think he said that he was, um, it's not for him personally. I think he was getting it for somebody else. Honestly, he was, uh, he's just kind of like rubbing his head. Yeah, um, hey, can you grab me a bucket? I just yell at Jarnan, Jarnan, bucket! He just throws a bucket, you catch it. You've done this many times with him. I slide the bucket across the table. Uh, he just puts his head in it. Very unpleasant sounds come from him. He looks back up, looking much worse than he did whenever he went down into it. Um, yeah, I... God, what were we talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing, friend, nothing. Just, uh, just relax and throw up into your bucket. He puts his I head go. back down in it. What is Neflix doing this time? Is he just... Sipping his ale still? Yeah, um... Seems like he's just kind of going calmly about it. He's taken out a book at this point in his reading, as well. He seems like he's just preparing to settle down and wait. How's the target practice repair coming? So, well, you go from dummy to dummy. Stuff. There was one of them that exploded that you can't really do that much about. You would have to get brand new materials, which aren't just kind of laying around, um... Well, they are, the... they're just everywhere. <laughs> brand <laughs> new materials! Uh, <laughs> grabbing a little bit of the stuff from that you patch up the other ones quite well. Takes you about 30 minutes to finish up, but it's a fairly quick job. Uh, not bad. It's in my better work, really, when dealing with non-alchemical things. Thanks for the flexing, Warren. No problem. The woman well, throws you a copper piece, Warren. He catches it, flick, uh, like flips it once, and then puts it into his coin pouch. It offers her like a a bit of a nod. <laughs> There's like a whistle as you walk away. <laughs> uh, pardon me, sir. Um, I finished repairing what I could out there. One of them is completely destroyed beyond repair. Would require an entirely new build. Oh. He nods, stands up, and starts making his way. Looks out. Pretty nice job. Um, and the other one, I'll. He just kind of waves his hand. I'll deal with that one later. But as for you, uh, three gold for the kid is what we landed on. That it is. He points at Wuin. You look like you can take it. I need you to take three steps back. One, two, three. Put your hands out. Holds his hands out. On one of the strings along the wall, he just like plucks at it. The roof shakes for a moment, and just a small wooden box falls through it. Hmm. Not bad. You grab it, boom. Um, you give it a little bit of give, so that way the objects inside come to a stop a little bit more slowly. Yeah. All right, all of it should be in there. Fantastic. Uh, Barton pays. Uh, Warren, you can hold on to that yeah. like the repair uh, kit. Yes. I assumed. <laughs> <laughs> you like, Ryan, I would ever, carry it. I would the ever carry going it. backpack on his back, he just puts it in. <laughs> I over would the carry it. mule. <laughs> Well, you're also good at it, and it helps with your training. Mm. That's what you told helps. me when you took the repair kit from me. Well, I did it because you wouldn't be able to carry it. I could. I would have to be carrying you if you were carrying it. No, I would just be yes. walking slower. Mmm, I'd be carrying you. Exactly. <laughs> then where would we be? Uh, Maybe. about Maybe ten feet done. behind everywhere else? Well, that hey, too. hey, you, you, uh, Oten. That halfling nearby is pointing at you, kind of like jumping up excitedly. Yes. So, just 
Just a little curious if you'd do something for me. Well, I'd prefer if you stayed further away, but perhaps. He takes a step back, kind of like hands up, like, I don't got nothing on me. But, uh, I was just kind of wondering if you could, uh, put a little something on one of your friends. Just as, just as a prank. Depends on exactly what the prank is, I suppose. He takes out a piece of paper, as well as a small leather piece that's coming off of it that seems like it can be strapped to something. The paper says, kick me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a fun one. Though, I must ask who and why? Oh, I'm just... I saw you were talking to some... Some of the other two, and, uh... Just, just put it on one of them! It'll be funny! See, the problem is, uh, if I put it on... The woman's back, and somebody kicks her, she will kill them. That's the <laughs> sense I got. And... The other one, based on what she did to that dummy there that I had to put back together, could also kill them. <laughs> and then they may also stab me! For putting it there. And then I have to deal with Arden bleeding out, and I don't want to do that again. It's very messy. Exactly, messing. people bleeding out are funny, you should do it, come on! I'm he kind of like, solid, no. takes a step <laughs> closer and nudges you. So I'm gonna have to ask you to step back from the Arden. <laughs> Warren, I told you, you're not a bodyguard, I can burn I people now. to a crisp if I need to. Uh, he does take like a half step back. Uh. Flex These all can't take a joke. Shrugs oh, it's not about time. taking a joke, it's about getting stabbed. <laughs> I'm all for a joke that doesn't end with me bleeding. Again. Uh, typically You're my jokes for... end with people bleeding. He, um, kind of just like, twitches a little bit, a dagger comes up out of his sleeve, he pulls it around a little bit, and you can see it engraved upon it is the word joke. So not a ha-ha funny joke then? Oh, I think that's very ha-ha for him. It's not for us. No, it's more of a, ah, ah, you know? You shut up. <laughs> See, y'all get it. Um, I'm going to end as you walk away. We don't need to get into a fight now, Warren. We have not, work to do not tomorrow. Not him, you. I know, that's what I'm saying. Ugh. We have work tomorrow. Fine. I won't beat you up, you won't beat me up, and I'll be fine. Not until this job's uh, finished. Mm -mm, that might be a bit... Hi. I'm going to assume you're Warren. I am Warren. Nice you're to meet next. you. My name's Layla. He offers a large, meaty hand out for her to shake. She'll to grasp with her, her gauntleted hand, which is only enough for that hand because it is gauntleted. Otherwise, it'd be a small <laughs> little human hand. <laughs> That's fair. He shakes it once firmly before letting go. Well then, pleasure be doing business. Uh, you come in on the scene of just this tiefling vomiting into a bucket with Raviv just next to him. Mm. Hmm. I wave with them as they enter. Uh, hello, friends! Hello. Oh. Make another friend. One of you. <laughs> yes, our, uh, our friend here had an unfortunate encounter with some uh, dragon's breath, I believe he said. Oh, that's kind of like a thumbs Have up. Have you tried the bucket. improved version? The, the he he looks over at you, just like wiping vomit off of his lip. The what? The improved version. It has more spice to it. He looks at you, just like eyes go blank. I helped my father make it back at Helmport. You, you should be quiet. What? Uh, he throws back up in the bucket. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the improved version. Uh, you're proud of that. <laughs> Jonah is just like shaking his head no in the back. Mm. You, you're proud of helping make that stuff? Well, the improved stuff, yes. The regular stuff is so boring. It's boring not, so near, it's, it's nothing it only, like a dragon's breath. What, does it only burn their insides and melt their, I don't know, entrails? Instead of making them puke them up and stuff? Well, no, it only burns, go, it only burns when you drink it, not when you breathe it back out. You disgust me. What, you, what, what, what else would you expect from Dragon's Breath? Not puke. Well, you're not supposed to puke. What are they doing? 
You don't be such a, a kid. It sounds like a good way to improve your intestinal fortitude. <laughs> I have many other ways of doing that than drinking something that will burn down and up. Ah, uh, you're no fun. Mm. I'm plenty anyway. of fun. Arden, I'm fun, aren't I? <laughs> Depends on if it's a bar fight or not. I feel like I'm fun even in the cases that aren't bar fights. Right, other kinds of fights, but that's not the point. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Nayla, uh, Reviv, and Warren, Wait. I did have one question. I was wondering if you guys felt the same, but... I'll just... I don't... Over here. See what it is. You can bring the chair over, Warren. <laughs> nope. Okay, fair enough. I was wondering... The man who hired us, he... He didn't seem to really know what he was looking for. He seemed to have a description of it. Do you know... Somebody else hire him? Yeah, he's looking for this jewel uh, for someone else, from what I, this man here, I clapped the tiefling on the shoulder, says. Uh, As you kind of, like, clap him on the shoulder, his head moves a little bit. Um, He's still, like, face in the bucket, but you can tell he's unconscious. Yes, well, uh... This man here told me uh, he's a he's a baggage carrier for our friend over there, and I point I right, gesture back to Neflex, and he told me he's looking for this jewel for someone else. Uh, that would he, make sense. You couldn't tell me who, but I, this just doesn't seem like the kind of man to fund an expedition. From the way he spoke, was all I was thinking. Yes, he's apparently this is the only thing he wants right now. I, I assume whoever put him up to this is very powerful or very close to him. I got the, the impression that is very single-minded to try and find this one gem. I've worked with people, expedition of sorts, they usually have someone that accompanies you, maybe studies a little bit, but all this person cares about is this gem, which strikes me as a bit odd, suspicious. Especially since he doesn't seem he wants to describe what it is or what it does, even if he does know. I, I sort of doubt he knows himself. Perhaps. I was just making sure that I wasn't just reading too far into this. Maybe I can find a book on the matter before we set off. We might so, get a hint or two. I think Ooh. we might... Have, have you seen the other adventurers? I've seen enough of them to know that uh, I don't quite, feel like quite. dealing with them. <laughs> oh, um, the... One of the halflings, the one with the dagger that has joke on the handle, I... He's sitting at the table earlier. He wanted to put a kick me sign on one of your backs. Didn't matter which one, just one of you. Yes, might have been I, actually a bomb. Anyway. Could have been. Um, it, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you should know he may attempt another prank later, and I might be so, a target as well now. So there really are children? It appears so, yes. A small a man of indiscriminate age. Undetermined. Whatever word that is. That is. Well, either a halfling or a child or both, and... I'm Based like on his pranks, I'm leaning towards the both. It's a half I, I child, just like half the size of a child. I, I wouldn't be surprised if half of those other people were children in the mindset of what they're trying to do here. No professionalism whatsoever. 